Welcome back, folks. Welcome to Satisfactory. Kind of a, a busy couple weeks now that we've been back into both Satisfactory and Minecraft, but uh, I do like splitting things up a little bit, and we're gonna jump right back in here to our Devastator build. If you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Joel Duggan. This will be a separate video if you're watching on YouTube, and that is the uh, Joel Duggan VODs channel on YouTube for folks that are here on Twitch. I don't mention this often enough, but I'm live on Twitch pretty much every day at one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus three hours. The only day I don't stream right now is Monday. That's when I do the Spun Chunks podcast. And we stream that live to our patrons, but it's not live to everyone everywhere. I'm thinking about changing that for the Citadel Cafe. I'm thinking about at least broadcasting the Citadel Cafe into the Discord, if not doing a live broadcast somewhere. I really need to grow that podcast, and I'm struggling with ways to do it. So while this is loading, I will flash up the Devastator board, which is the inspiration for the build. We're creating factories that are kind of emulating the design and colors of the Transformer Generation 1 Combiner Decepticon. And we're looking at a bunch of changes. Hey, where'd the roundabout go? It's my fault. I destroyed it. I moved it. It's now much bigger. It's much more capable. If anything, it's actually got too many, <laughs> too many entrances and exits. I don't know that we need the one that we're looking at right here at the bottom. No idea. Um, I looked up a tutorial. I saw some ways to do this and I realized that I need more than four. I need like five. And I also needed entrances and exits that were not on the cardinal north, south, east, west, but I needed like 45 degree angles. And so we're going to go down and take a ride just so you can kind of see it firsthand. I also hooked up a fun little ski jump. We basically cleared the platform. <laughs> All right, um, edit timetable, construction two, save changes. No path. Now there's a path. Sparrow, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Just give it a little time and you will find a use for that entry exit. I'm sure the weird thing is it just doesn't go anywhere, right? Like it's just, and this whole part here, I'm not sure about. Like, this coming in, coming out of the train station, it's probably going to change. But um, from about here forward, as we approach the roundabout, I've got some ideas. The roundabout's not going to float either. We're going to put something down into the lake. Uh, but I, I increased the height of a few things over there. And this comes up a lot higher. Now, this might also increase in height. We'll see. So out this way, I threw in a little construction station just for me to be able to stop at, send the train to We'll be able to go back and forth on brakes, that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I did not do a straight out, I don't think. So one thing missing, if I came over here and I wanted to keep on going, I have to figure out a way to do that. doesn't work. Oh, that worked. There was a connection somewhere. There we go. Does that work? Aha!
So I thought we'd start off today by just extending the main train line a little bit. Try to do a little bit at a time. This is just the temporary end of the line. Oh, I don't have a lot of gas on me. Do I have more? Oh yeah, lots. Lots and lots and lots. So I believe that the orange parts were meant to be towers. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know what my logic was. I know that I want to go this way. I feel like that should be long enough. I'm starting to get a decent rhythm. We're making these tracks now. If that comes out to there, and if that's going to be, it would make sense for like a new, a new path to start in that direction with a tower. So that means that our, we'd want to put the other tower as close to this one as we can. I've avidly listened to you and Pix on the Spawn Chunks for a couple of years. Very cool, Sparrow. I usually catch Pix in my mornings after work. Okay. But never able to catch you in stream. i got to say, I'm definitely uh, delighted to finally see Westall today. Oh, that's really cool. Thanks very much. Yeah, we weren't there very long, but I've got... I wanted to get both games in today, and I've got plans this evening, so I kind of have to kind of smoosh them into two shorter streams. I feel like that's probably where we want to go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've been doing every ten for whatever reason. I'm sure I'll change this when I do the actual towers, but how long is this stretch? This doesn't feel like 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, no. Was not. That was not the plan. So let's repaint some of these. I think 11 is kind of the happy number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So these are just a little bit off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is right. I want eleven in between them. They're on the twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is what I want. This is probably different because of the of the, the temporary roundabout that I've got here. So this would be where they would go. So we wanna Go from here. I'm gonna back the train up. I love that there's little poofs of smoke that come out of it. It reminds me of a train that I used to have when I was a kid. Oh, I really have to back the train up. Hold on. I didn't realize this was a one long piece. But Sparrow, thanks very much for listening to uh, to the podcasts. I'm glad you like them. Do you listen to both? Do you listen to the Citadel Cafe? I say that and I haven't released a Citadel Cafe in over a month. So it's going to be there, which means that's not a thing. 
And that won't be a tower either. Right. We're going to have to kind of fake the connections a little bit. Why is that not working? Weird. I just want power. Okay. So this is going to change directions here. And head off that way. So see how it kind of snakes? I'm trying to avoid that. It means we probably have to start this here. Well, I would like to have known where that was supposed to be. Yep, that's right. So then just mimic that on this side here. Now I'm trying to figure out what the what the pattern is for when you ha want to do two curves that are more parallel. I keep on thinking that if we go here and if I go in by a meter, and then on this side, if I go in by a meter as well, actually that has to stay the same because that's on a tower. Yeah, that's pretty good. So now I can remove this straight bit. I can push this back. I can remove... Right, this thing is messing me up. There we go. Just a single track from there to there. And then we move these guys. Right. So it's going to say no path because obviously it's the end of the line. Now this next part should be really easy. What I did when I was working on that roundabout was I was just putting in temporary concrete pillars and then I'll go around later and replace them with the blueprint that we have of the fancy one. I feel like that's okay. All right, so that goes there. So then here, now that we're on a straightaway, we can just do, essentially count that 12. That's that, I don't know, one, all that four. No, that's three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's twelve. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Twelve. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What I should have done was um, paint them as I was building it because our blueprint for extending this is four by two. 
So I could have done three blueprints and then just painted the tip of it. And then done three blueprints and painted the tip of it. So mental note for next time. To just like act honestly. You could even have two blueprints with it. Like pre-painted, right? Yeah, that's the idea, Sandy, is I'm going to put a station at the northern factory so that the brake train will probably just have one one long road, you know? So I should be able to get from here in a straight line, no problem, to the midsection here. Of course, it's going to get dark. Delete the little trunk, grab that. Now from here, I should be able to get to the middle, but not much farther. Because I think 12 and a half is your limit. Yep, so then here in the middle is good. And these will be where our towers go. And that's good because we don't have any trains that are 12 long, they're all around eight, or eight is the longest train I have. And I think that's my construction train. I think most of the trains I have are like four. Now these are dead straight, right? There's no wobbles. No wobbles. No finicky funny business. Missed a paint. It's always kind of like a game of leapfrog as to how far you want to go before you go back and get your train. I'd say where I can't see it or it's a little speck in the distance, it's probably a good spot to go back and get it. Missed the paint here too. So on the way back, unfortunately it's dark, we'll do the block signals. So the trick is to look at the block that you're closest to on the side. So if you look over here, it's left-hand drive. If you look over here, it's right-hand drive. So if you go over here to the top part, so if I go up that way, you can do um, these coming back that way. How cool would it be if this is what the trains actually looked like? Like, can you imagine if the rails were neon like this in this game? I would love, after I've finished a full playthrough of of the vanilla game, I would love to go through and play like a modded, like a visually modded game. Someone, you know, a team of people that maybe are passionate about modding um, visually, like doing models and graphics and stuff. That would be really cool. Well, while it's dark, this is the safest place to be up on the platform, so we'll just keep on going. Everything's green until the end. That's good. Hey, there's Cosmic. Welcome back from your lurk. I don't know whether I've made this too low. I feel like... If you get too high, then you can't see around the train, right? idea how we're going to get up to the northern forest. 
That's a mystery left for future Joel. And I think... Yep, I need to do some more counting. Riveting, I know. Actually, let's use the... Um, the control delete thing so we'll just move forward this way that way i don't have to like constantly count to 12. that one i don't know why i've not been doing this the whole time it means i can talk to you <laughs> rather than counting i mean it's an easy double check with the um with the length of the track too. That's another reason why this is a good way to do it. It's because if you don't feel like counting out everything at first, you can just pull the track until it turns red and then you know you're at the limit, right? So it looks like I tried to put this a little bit too soon as well, or too far. My defense, I have not been up since 5 a.m. Or you have been up since 5 a.m. Oof. I've not, I wasn't up that early, but I was up early, earlier than I wanted. So here is where I would probably cheat it in that I would want it probably to be on the 13 here, just because I really like the idea of putting the towers whenever it changes direction as best I can. So that's probably the best way to do this. I think if I went farther, that puts us, well, that might work. We'll give that a go too. We'll see which one looks better. I guess I could be laying track this whole time too. Just don't have any power. No floaty. I was listening to um, and watching uh, what Darren plays going through his playthrough, and he mentioned something interesting about the um, the hover pack. He was surprised that once you get batteries in the game, you can't power the hover pack with batteries. Batteries are not easy to make; they're aluminum and sulfuric acid, and like it's definitely an end game thing. And it would be great to have the uh, option of powering the. Um, Oh, see, I messed up. I obviously counted something wrong. And if you mess one up, you've messed them all up. That's fun. How'd I manage the first one? Is this the one like counted by, by hand without <laughs> without the without the uh, the delete help? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 10, 11, 12. Totally wrong. Totally wrong. Well, that was a pain. It's not even complicated. It's a straight line. Sorry about the reflection off the... Off the, the rails... Yeah, so they're all going to be long. Not sure how entertaining it is for a long straight train ride but there's no real places to to go back and forth with this that's going to make this like 15 I think it was 13 before. All right, let's actually count this out now.
up to 16. Okay. I'm just going to do two lengths of eight and then we'll see what we can do. Or maybe I'll do six. I can always fix this later. Straight, straight. Place, I could do it the opposite way um, and just place all the rail as it can't reach the 13th foundation. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. I think the one you marked 12 and then you painted the one after it. Yeah, that's probably what I did. Probably what I did. It's a bright pink rail. Just in time for Cosmic's return. I'm surprised with all the different controls that they give you in the game that you can't control the colors of the... Um, of the, the highlights, you know? Like some people are colorblind in certain spectrums and like wouldn't be able to see some of these separations. It keeps showing up, it keeps turning pink. Stay in pink. So the only thing that I, I don't like about all this is that unfortunately with these um, single design block signals, you're just going to stuck with them and there's no way to, you can sort of hide them a little bit in a pole sometimes, but there's no way to just make your own or attach them to something, you know. There's the sunshine again. So I decided that we wanted to go down this way. So before I start really laying out track, I want to remind myself where we're going. It probably would be a good idea to actually have a foot path up there, even though it's a hike on foot. So we need to get up there. We zoom in. That's where I need to get to. We are currently, there's the train. We need to get up here and we need to come along here. I feel like that's the only way up. The only other spot I can see is a little crack like right, right there. There's a, a way in between. Somebody is mad. Oh, you're right below me. Did it not reload? Whoa. He really is mad. That's going to take forever. I'm not going to do that right now. We'll just have to listen to them. All right. Yeah, I can't think of another way. It would be cool to kind of go up by that little water spout thing.
That's almost like a natural train bridge right there. Could run a trail along that, a rail, a rail along that. That would look cool. I know I was thinking about going up to that mushroom shaped rock. Yeah, so there's the gap, but the gap is through the smelly plants and forest and things, and there's no, there's no secret way up. I wonder if we just have to start climbing when we turn at a right, right angle here. I have to figure out where the world grid is and get back on the world grid. I didn't realize that I get off the world grid whenever I turn these things 45. I thought I was staying on it, but apparently I'm not. So, uh, that is the world grid. So if we're going to start climbing, we should, sit, should consider that as our line. So let's try that and we'll just see. Can I not zoop up with this? Now this is going to be too steep. We'll have to figure out a different way. I just need to get myself up here. There may be some, some math to figure out how many switchbacks. My idea is to do like a ladder. Because I, I don't like the corkscrew method. While we're here. Did I actually build anything? I don't think I did. Oh yeah, I did. So this is my starter factory buried in the woods that grew up around it after they updated the game. I feel like this would be a good spot to have a station. And that's where I came up, right ahead of us there. So I could easily kind of like loop around through these trees and come down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a big platform. Doesn't need to be that wide. I'm curious, do I have my mask on? Because I, if I have my gas mask on, I do. I just want to see... What's the big deal over here? There's a purple slug. Is there no baddies? Maybe it's only at night. Oh, nope. Yeah. That was that was gross. That was very gross. Oh, the moon manta went by? I didn't see him. There's our train way down there. There's our hard drive. I didn't know that was there. Or did I? Nope. We could do the switch back here. That does save a bit of time on the trip. We just have to get up high enough that we then go over these rocks. Alternatively, by bringing the train over this way, it's a bit cleaner and we have more space 
and it would probably look cool coming down if the main line continues on right which is the plan then when you're coming back down this way looking at the switchback ladder would be very cool Something is mad at me. Did I get it? I didn't get it. Relaying message. Hello, this is Paternal Figure. I have taken ill and need your help to find a cure. Doctors say that the only remedy is alien artifacts. Yeah, I don't think that is the way to come up. I'm curious though if there's another spot over this way. I feel like the way I brought up my oil is going to be too, too narrow. This is all just one big giant rock. There's no, no secret cave. Just a lot of plants and gas and nastiness. Oh, then we start to get way back down here, yeah. Wow, that is a lot of very bright mushrooms and a very big unfriendly. So I think the original plan is good. Oh, right, that's the way down on foot. Right, I remember that now. Everything is so different. Like the geometry of the landscape is the same, but all of the foliage is completely changed. Oh, you're going to have to go. Can't have you. Oh, there's more. Did not see him coming. That scared me. <laughs> Where'd you go? You thought you were getting a factory game, but instead you're getting a first-person shooter episode. We're gonna have to clear these guys out anyway. Might as well do it now. It's a lot easier to deal with those guys with the Blade Runners, that's for sure. Right, so we basically just have to get myself up to, I'd say, this point over here. Once we're on the flat, up at this, this stage. Oh gosh, there's more. Leave me alone. Oh, that was close. There's usually three. I don't see a friend. Having some Borderlands flashbacks. All right, so how much higher do we want to be? I feel like at least here would get us where we want to be. That's three. Four. So whatever this is, plus three. Thirty-one. Or close to thirty-one. So... 31 times 4 is 124 meters. Uh, how far can we go up with a switch? So 
So divided by uh, three, six, eight. Eight switchbacks is a lot. So if we go up roughly 30 meters, how long does it take to go up? If I go up at a slightly less incline, like if I take this ramp, that is technically, I think, a four meter ramp, right? It attaches to two meters, but I think it's a four meter ramp. meter wall that only goes up two meters four meter double ramp why is it called a four meter meter double ramp oh i guess it because it no that doesn't make any sense i guess it would cover four meters if it was starting from the bottom half of this that would make more sense but this goes up two meters at a time as far as train lines is concerned. So that's two meters, that's four meters. So if we need to go up 30 meters, we need 15 of these. So I guess we just have to figure out where would be a good spot to center this, right? I don't think I want to start it right here because that feels like it's in the way. We'd want to maybe think about it maybe in terms of like coming down the valley. Where's our line? I'd say I'm probably looking right at it. Probably the riverbed. So if this was roughly the middle. Then we would have, oh, this would start. This would be a very different angle then. So let's go. It's hard some to see sometimes. I brought a metric ton of concrete, so we should be good. This is just for me to kind of get out here a little bit and see what we might want to be looking at. I obviously don't want to be too far to the right. I'm not sure why the game gives me this weird kind of like I guess if I look too close at the orange, I get like a, a bokeh effect or like a, a weird kind of haze. Oh yeah, I want... Oh wow, what is going on with my frames? I guess I'm on the edge of a biome. That's rough. What is happening? Loading in too many creatures, maybe? Woof. Give me... What am I getting here? Show current in-game. Debug. I thought there was a toggle that you could show the FPS. Don't 
don't see it. I am just skimming, but. Wow. Well, maybe we don't do anything down this end just today. Oh yeah, this I can't play like this. Let's just save the game. Um I may have to just exit out and come back in. What I'll try to do is I'll try to move ourselves back down to the other part of the world. It could be just like loading in stuff that I've never loaded in the game. I don't think I've been to the desert. Oh yeah, I'm getting, it's really choppy. Cosmic, I'm assuming that's showing up on Twitch too. Like I feel like I'm watching a stop motion animation video. Now it's better. Yeah, it was totally the lighting or something. I'm sure a lot of that stuff is going to change when we get into um, when we get into update eight when the new engine. It may be better or worse on my machine. I have no idea. I'm just going to put that there, and then I'll make a temporary loop. Kind of a good spot to kind of like turn around and try something else as well. Okay. Not that one. This one. One, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. I wish I had this stuff memorized, but I totally don't. This is rough. Yeah, the science behind this is, is lost on me. I don't know why they thought this was a good way to design how tracks worked. It's a sci-fi game. I really feel like you could just make stuff up. Like my other roundabout was not this big. Seriously? There's just so much trial and error, it's really frustrating. This was most of my night last night, by the way. just want to turn the train around. That's all I want to do. All I want to do. Jeez.
Man. What a ruckus. So you're gonna... A glimpse at what the brake train might look like in the future. I know it's dead straight. Yeah, once we get back to uh, Devastator, I'm gonna take a break, Cosmic. Thank you. Yeah, it was choppy, Sandy. Yeah. I'm glad it's over. It's obviously a biome border or something. There's a lot of special effects being loaded in. And of course, I understand that the game is not optimized. Like, why, why would you? I mean, you, you optimize the game when you're ready for 1.0. When you're still developing and changing engines, like, you'd just be re-optimizing every time you did anything. So I appreciate that there's going to be some, some hiccups. I do hope they can get it to perform very, very well when they do release it. Because it's, I mean, it's a very good game. It's very fun. It's very pretty. Um, my stuff doesn't render in like it used to, but um, when um, when it works well, it's it's a good a good time. So another way we're going into the roundabout. There's a slight slowdown here as it checks the path signals, but it doesn't slow down too much, which is good. And we don't always have to go all the way around the circle. That's the big thing. Yeah, that's probably your right, Sandy. The game is loading in huge chunks the way that it works now. Yeah. Your your player radius is probably a lot bigger than they want it to be. Ooh, that was jarring. Sorry. So I'm going to take a short break and we'll turn on some proper, um, we'll do some proper building when I get back because there's a couple things I wanted to, um, wanted to take care of. And so now in theory, I should be able to take a train, make it red because why not red? Why don't we go with? gray and yellow. Now I should be able to go from Megatron to Constructicon 2 and just save those changes and go. And there should be no trains in between there. No stops that already have stuff in them. So this should work. Folks, if you're new to the stream, I take a break once an hour. It is that time you get to ride the brake train. Make sure you tell a friend. We are always trying to grow the channel. And uh, get yourself a break, too. A cup of coffee, snack. I'll be right back.
Looks like a successful back and forth. The train did not get stuck anywhere. I unfortunately am not going where I need to go. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab control of this. And I'll probably just go into the back of Devastator. Thanks, Andy. Some fun views from up here though. It will be a lot cooler once we get this place decorated very function over fashion right now. If 
I never thought. I guess I could put um, the, the Devastator station on the route, too, if I wanted to. Not much to look at over here, though. Speaking of, though, I do feel like I'm yelling whenever I'm on a train. Can we not control trains? Hoping that's an auto save in the background. Yes. Yeah, I guess. Um, I guess we can't control the volume of trains. That seems strange. They missed train sound? Yeah, they did. Uh, packager, refinery, blender, particle accelerator, smelter, foundry, biomass, coal, fuel, nuclear power pit, jump pad volume. <laughs> jump pad volume, but no train volume? Explorer, factory cart. The factory cart's not loud. Tractor, truck, drone, drone port, miner, power shortage, water extractor, resource well, ma'am. Awesome sink pipeline volume. All of that and you can't turn down trains? That seems really bizarre. I guess I was watching Total Eclipse after I raided him the other day. I'm guessing he must just have the whole game ducked. Because his game was really quiet and peaceful. I'm betting he just... Um, well, that was weird. I'm betting he just has the whole thing ducked. I'm actually going to go straight back down here. So one of the things I was working on and playing around with in between streams was a little idea for, for decorating the edge of this. I thought this could look cool. If I don't know about every one, like not every pillar, but like maybe every third or fifth or something. We'll, we'll measure it out and see what works the best. And maybe we'll kind of work around the train being one so then there would be one on like here and maybe on the corner there or something like that never sounds loud to this side of things to me uh tony hancock that's because i do have the game like all of my desktop volume stuff is ducked so the music is softer so i apologize if the music is really soft for you i had to turn it down for me um but yeah i've got i've got the uh desktop audio ducked by six decibels and um that's just so that I'm not competing with it on the stream side. But I find that, I mean, I, I, I'm not sure how to explain it. It's like, it's like when you're walking on the phone and the person, and you're talking on the phone and you walk by construction, the person on the other end can hear you just fine, but you feel like you need to raise your voice, you know? That's what it feels like when I'm on a train. So that is what I'm thinking of for the edge of Devastator. And I think that kind of goes along with like these kind of like angles, flat edges and then angles. I feel like that goes along really well with some of the shape design that's in him. And a lot of angles, a lot of just layers of, of different things. So that could be f fun to do. Um, I am also thinking about doing double street lamps. I don't know about the power pole. I think I might try to power them from under underneath. 
I was toying around with connecting these to the walkways, but they, they don't work out. It's not the best. Not the best situation. Uh, the other thing that I was looking at doing was trying to figure out how to make these look better. And I think I like the the plates. The um, metal plating ones. And I was trying to come up with a cool edge. I think I just like the whole asphalt sort of thing. Just to kind of give it some... Fill in this empty space, but still allow trains to pass by it without causing too much issue. And again, like, these are the kind of things where we could try to layer things on them. In certain places. You know, just to add. It's weird when it gets buried like that, so you'd have to be careful with it. Maybe a road barrier there would solve the problem. It would get it higher. So we'd have to fill in that gap, but I don't know. That could work. We'll see. And then trying to figure out whether I like the railings or whether I like the wall. I feel like I like the wall better. And I made a mistake. Uh, this platform and the construction platform are too far forward. They um, I don't know remember why I I don't know remember why I bumped them back. I I feel like it was too There was a reason why I bumped them all back. Oh I know it was the it was the outputs it was to have these all line up in the right spot uh, inputs end up being in the center but we don't use them um, but these are not these are not correct so I need to remove some of this and fix these right now before I forget hence the signs it'll be a pretty simple fix actually just remove those no, uh, yeah, everything's going to have to go anyway. I'll leave the last one. Just so we know where it ends. I'll have to delete that. And we'll have to delete D Devastator Hook. And that goes on the seam. There we go. Right? Yeah, they go on the seams. It's so strange how you can do two little 45s, but you can't do the full 90 degree. It won't let you. Really bizarre. So now we've got possible eight platforms. Three, four, five, six. Seven, and we'll have to delete this little bit and that signal. Eight. Now that should line up just a meter past the line, and then now this should be something. Oh, right. I have to remove this first. Because train system, or track system, I should say. And now this one has to move too. And we were putting the blocks on the way in. That's that guy moved. And now I've got to move the train. I've got all the trains on stop right now, so we're not going to run into anybody.
But I like this raised ledge on the right hand side. It's kind of a neat look. I was thinking about doing it on both sides, but then you run into like, what do you do with these little offshoots? Try to get out of here before I leave the, the link. Oh good, okay. So I can just back that in once I make this change. This has to go back to hook. I was messing around with how to come into these places too. I might want to put these blocks a little bit farther back, but I'll tackle that later. I was thinking along here in the same way that we've done it out front, I might want to have two little 45s rather than 190. That would also help me if I have to rebuild this a couple times too. the end of the line. Now this I had painted because it's my construction station. And just like that, we're back in business. Nice. Constructicon 1 at Devastator. No. Why game? Something that drives me nuts is UI that is really unclear. Does it save when you exit? Do you have to hit enter? Does escape exit a window? Like when that kind of stuff is inconsistent, it's really frustrating. Cool. So before I hook all of this up, one of the things I wanted to do was do this kind of like embedded sort of concrete thing and make sure that that works. So what I decided to do was I tested it out on this one and essentially, like even though hook doesn't have any freight right now, but if I replaced two of these with freight stations, like that you'd get an impression of like what it would look like in between the stations when they both have full freight uh, and pillars and stuff and so the easiest solution when you um, get rid of that when you have this kind of like ledge that goes up towards the train is when you go down to your your inputs is just just stop it the way that it's worked out, it's just, it's a nice even edge. And then what'll happen is over here, we'll have another coated foundation. Actually, this might be grip metal. And then we have a half of one of these. I've also noticed a bug, which I'm sure has been reported. These don't line up. Or at least they didn't last time I was playing. They weren't lining straight on top of each other. Maybe it was just like a graphical thing for me, but that goes there. And then we zoop that down. I tried messing around with 
and different like levels of getting this in tighter and it just doesn't look good to me so we're just going to go with regular regular stuff there and i decided on coated concrete did i take that the whole way down i can't remember i think i did Right, because you can see it from the other side. So the reason why I wanted to, to continue that down is because you can see it on this side. And then we'll also grab just the regular one. Now this could change. We might want to change the color of this. We might want to change the, um, the material. Uh, and then here we'll just do a number two. So the side of the actual freight platform sticks out and gives a nice little um, angle there, which is cool. And then we're free in here to do all of our unloading with plenty of room. We could even have this be spaced out if we wanted to fill this area, make it feel more filled in. Then instead of doing this here, we could take this wall or a floor hole rather and bump it over to there and if we we're using the big lifts it could look pretty cool oops right so it kind of fills that space a little bit better it's up to, like it's kind of subjective as to how how we do it but that could be fun maybe we stagger them maybe we do the first one close and the second one farther away i don't know i don't know what that means down below if that makes it easier for us to have more options if we have to rearrange these and move them around it might be better to have them farther apart like if i have to take one and send it one way and get some belt turning and stuff around that's probably a better idea something is not happy with us I wish the sound was more localized. Thanks, Sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. Input window. Hello. The fun username. So here is where we would put our big bin. And this we would just line up sort of like here. And I think I have to get it... That is too close. So a good, a good two meters. One, two meters. That should work. So that would be there and then that becomes easy now that we've got one lining up others is really straightforward that's great and then this would all be turning out and heading towards the main bus which would be out this way i believe is yeah these three here at least probably four so i can move this So then any stuff coming out of here would just be one and then it gives us lots of room to run a nice clean line hang a right we can fill this space with great um like hanging belts i think i even have yeah i've got space for another belt there too right so we can do a bunch of different stuff so that all gives us a lot of options and flexibility which is wonderful i've lost my entrance it is. Uh, obviously, this will not be a hole. And I'm not sure what we're going to make that as far as the texture goes. I mean, we could do 
grip metal, polished stuff. I kind of like just the regular concrete. Uh, my game. There we go. Asphalt is kind of dull. But what's cool about something like this is that we could then... Like, this is kind of a an intense area. If we had these things closer, we could also do... Um, like a little paint job. Quarter factory zone, half factory zone. I feel like we'd want to go with the the line. Oh, the line gets hidden underneath the overlap. Okay, well, half factory zone it is. Or maybe the whole thing. I don't know. Pattern removal. I like the idea of using some numbers too. Weird that there's no train signal. It's all road related. Anyway, so that's a possibility. Maybe we just do the whole thing. Maybe it's just going to be better to just commit. A little loud. Anyway, there are options. Uh, hard to see in the dark. You've heard of it, but you've never played it in Put Window. So it's it's similar to Factorio. It's uh, resource management. So if you look, I mean, I'm pretty deep into it, but you've got like iron ore, copper ore, limestone ore, and you basically bring it in and turn it into various products. So you can see here's the miners and they're pumping out an endless supply of iron ore. And we bring that in via belts. Uh, I'm running it a long way down into my big factory where it's being turned into iron ingots. So in similar ways to like Minecraft and stuff, if you get an iron ingot and you can make a pickaxe out of it, but you need wood. So in this game, everything's automated. You don't really want to be crafting by hand, but I can show you an example of something crafting. So the very base level is something like this. You've got a construct, uh, a miner pulling in limestone and you can change the rates. And then these two constructors are turning the limestone into concrete at a rate of 15 per minute, but it needs 45 limestone. So we've got 90 coming out of here being split into 45 and 45. These are all being made into um, concrete and then the box is full so and I'm using concrete to build all these platforms and stuff like that so it's it's pretty straightforward uh, it gets complicated as you start to get you know machines that take in four different items and each one of those items is composed of you know composed of like two or three other items like it gets really the tree gets very very large um, but I, I quite like it it's um it's very chill it's very fun I'm going to back myself back into my construction station. Good. Yeah, then along here, we just grab the same 
same little guy and just add them there. Now the trick here is just to figure out which way it's facing. I like that way. Now you can't really see it in the dark here, of course, but I was painting these purple just because of the whole Devastator neon green purple thing. But I thought the edge of the one meter metal plating looked cool. Added a lot of detail without me having to do an, a lot extra. And we can't paint the sides of those, unfortunately. And I think I prefer this as all asphalt. I feel like that's an okay shape. And the nice thing about if we decide to commit to um, the walls, because we've used a half foundation on each side, we actually don't have to overlap the walls. We just use five. Or four, rather. It's three in the middle and a half on each side. And it lines up nicely. And this, of course. The only problem with these, of course, is that you can't, you can see the the overlap there. So I may just keep them on the edges. More of a of a color highlight than like a real banister. in like that and then up here go back to this and then I think it just goes another oh this gets filled in completely doesn't it right wait a minute what did I miss why is that off I don't know how I managed that. I lined it up here, didn't I? Apparently not. The hard part is when you screw up and you have to delete this all one at a time because if you try to do it all at once, then the the train station starts to go with your with your work. Actually, I should probably be careful about which how far I'm going with this because if we go I shouldn't go into the spots where I'm not sure if there's a train because I'd have to undo it to put another train down. So yeah, I'm going to hold off on some of this. Should be good for now. The game has a pretty good sun cycle. It could take advantage of that and add a solar feature. Yeah, uh, there's no solar. It's um, geothermal, coal, oil burning, and nuclear. Nuclear. That that looks crooked to me. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. 
I think, for these. Oh, I was turning these all into grip metal. That's what I was doing. That's the idea so far. Uh, I don't know about this. I feel like we might have to choose a better color or something. It feels a little bit shiny. It might be better off to have this inside stuff as like a matte. More of a matte color. More industrial, maybe. Reminds me of building maps in Fortnite. Yeah, maybe. I've never played Fortnite. So I'd say we've got potential. I don't see any issues with the hookups. Um, I did a little testing by trying to build a train and like it doesn't bump into anything. It doesn't clip through. It blips when I hit the signals, but... it's enough room here. I wanted to do a little bit more, like, filling stuff in here, right? But... You've only got so much space... Before the train starts to, like... Clip in, you can't come up with a decent shape. So you're kind of left with... This as your base shape. And so that's how I got into that. I think that's too tall. Yeah. Not that we couldn't have it be up high in the middle. I wonder what that would look like, actually. What if this was actually full on up like this? That might just be a little bit too boring. It might be too simple a shape. See, like that's that's not lining up <laughs> right if I clip that to the foundation it's like it's not lining up in the same way that the other one is it's really bizarre see what I mean that's one edge And this is that edge. So it's it's not it's not rotated right? Like that's probably explaining why it was going back and forth. So what I was getting was this. The game likes to rotate stuff for you even when you don't want it to. Like when I stack stuff, that's not what I want. If I want to stack stuff quickly, that's not that's not what you should do for me automatically. Right? What I want is this. But why do I have to add that extra rotation in there? You know, like it's just it's it's annoying. First word problems, I know. At least I know what it is now. I guess we could use it to our advantage if we wanted to have a lip. Gets us a little bit closer to the train, maybe.
I don't know. I kind of like that it breaks up the green, although it feels like a very simple, simple shape. Maybe we keep the middle part, but we break this down further. Too many, too many vertices being weird. What about... Then we'd have to fill in an angle though. Oh yeah, that doesn't work. Unless... I do that. But then we have to figure out how to put in like a road barrier here or a beam or something. I don't dislike having a beam there. I still like that better. Yeah, unfortunately, um, input window, you the, the beams all end up with these kind of like, you can't connect them. The way that the, the game works, it's the way that it snaps. They very much want you to build boxes. They don't want you to really get into too fancy stuff. I like pushing it to its limits sometimes. I definitely have my limits as to how much I enjoy that, depending on how frustrating it is with wanting to get something to look right. But I think that's pretty simple. I think once it's repeated, it'll sort of look cool. We could also just add stuff to it that doesn't have any function that, you know, we might, something like this might look cool. Or I don't know, we gotta get power from the train station somewhere. So like maybe, maybe that's a good way. Where is the power? Oh yeah, the power hookup, we're just gonna take straight down to the floor, I guess. Yeah, maybe if these were a little bit more robust. Maybe if I put like a... I did this on my train bits. Train towers. It's really hard to aim. Like, it, to the point, like, I almost want to make that a blueprint, <laughs> you know? Is that one little thing? The subtlest mouse twitch, and you've lost it. Glad I have a good mouse. Yeah, definitely the one on the left if we decide to do that. But like, 
I'm doing this and like, is anybody going to notice? Is anybody going to care? Only me. Yeah, the hitboxes on these little power things need to be revised. What mouse do I use? I use a Razer Death Adder version 2. Wired. No wireless nonsense. I think that's subtle. I dig it. So the other thing that I do like about what we've got going on here is, of course, the edge here. And I wanted to make sure we got some depth. And I like what I've got going on here. So we can really... I think we can keep uh, the one high foundations. We just kind of zoop these along. I may end up changing my mind here on a bunch of stuff. Um, because of where we need to run the wires. And we could use this to run some wires. So I might mean that I have to come in here and take away some stuff. But I can cover that later. But this is to give us like a... Oh, you know what I should do? If this is only visible from the outside, I should run these as half foundations. That would be the smart thing. Provided that half foundations of this particular block don't um, rotate funny. Those are not the same thing. I think asphalt just looks the same. Ah, so one's got an outside edge. That's what I want. How do I know which M1 has the outside edge? Not that one. Yeah, I guess that's it. Victory is mine. You can sort of see it. It's really subtle, though. I wish they would indicate that clearer in the hologram. It's very difficult to find a color overlay for your hologram that actually works. Now, does this... I actually don't know. I think I've always had to paint these. These always have, yeah, just concrete on all the sides. I wish they would just make it asphalt the whole way around. It would save everybody a lot of extra steps. See, so now I got to paint them. And I have to make sure it's, I think, this color. Or maybe I want it darker. Maybe I want it even darker still. Does Lucky the paint doesn't need, need flowers now? I agree. I think it's interesting that they kept the flowers in the game with the road decals. So like your patterns will require flower petals and cartridges. So it's a consumable, but your, your materials and your colors do not. And I'm glad that's the case.
I guess I should figure out how long this is. Before we start committing to too much here. So what I'm thinking is that by leaving myself this space here, I could use that to run the power for the lights. And I actually fit in here, which is nice. You wouldn't think <laughs> from looking at it. You're very small. If you ever see yourself in third person in this game, you're not a very big... You're two meters tall-ish, but it's not... Uh, it's not, like, obvious. Uh, I guess I'd want that to come down at the corner. This just goes all the way along. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to go. I think I maybe have to go down twice here. If that stays where it is. Oh, lost the power. No! Again, batteries on this thing would be fantastic. Tipster, hello, hello. How many more are you going to uh, online in this world? What do you mean? So this could work out nicely. If I did it that way. I don't know how long I want these sections to be. Kind of feel like it would be cool to maybe line this up with the train. That's two. I'm starting to, I start to deal with like potentially even numbers, which I don't think I designed this with even numbers in mind. Yeah, so that would put this over here. So two there, so one, two. Yeah, so it would come down here. Which is fine, if I can be consistent with it. I think that's pretty cool. Now, obviously, this is not going to stay the way that it is. Uh, I would probably... Just get another foundation and pop it in here. I'd like to start working with more depth in this game when I can. I don't really do much. You know, like here we could maybe add in metal pillar or something. Or maybe one of those doors. That would be cool. Where are those walls? Automated gate. Yeah, what if I used a road barrier? I think I did this on... I don't know why that's snapping down below. That's so strange. Like, what is it? I guess it's snapping to the um, foundation underneath it. It's annoying. Like, what are you attaching to? And then you have to build it twice and then it disappears. Awesome. Well done. I had this problem with train tracks earlier, too. Here we go. I think... There. And if I get one in... I should be good. 
Oh, thanks, Sandy. Appreciate that. Now, once one of these is here, should be able to just attach the others. Or not. No. Wow, that's annoying. I don't remember how I did that in the other save. I can't even select it. I mean, it works. And now it doesn't work. There are a lot of bugs in update seven, like a lot. I'm, I'm very surprised. I don't remember this many when I first switched over to update seven. But yeah, stuff just like straight up doesn't work. can't even right click to select that like not right click like middle click I can't pick it I can't delete it I mean it's cool it gives me the little light that I wanted but like Sure. <laughs> Not much of a door if it doesn't if it doesn't door. So, so like there's the hitbox. Switch to switch to always open. Not doing it. Pardon me. Yeah, I mean, you can see what I want to do. I want to have the the door open and show the train. Anyway, you get the idea. The other option was to do something permanent with the door open, but have like a small metal, metal pillar just to kind of give some depth in there. But I like the door idea better. So I'll leave that there for now. And I think I'm gonna have to do some boring counting in between streams to kind of figure out what kind of pattern I can fit here. Like, do I need patterns of two, three? How can I divide this up? Uh, I'll count the pillars and try to figure out what's going on. This section will be special because this is the main bus area. Um, so I'll keep that on as its own thing. It's very likely that there'll be like one section over here and then a pattern that will just repeat down the, down the line. But you can sort of see what I was getting at with like the down, over, up, over. Um, a technical way to explain that. I'm not sure exactly what to say other than like it looks, it looks like this guy. <laughs> it's the plan. Uh, and purple lights. Um, and that, by the way, is just road barriers on ramps. I don't know if you can see that, but... Uh, there's ramps in there and when you put a road barrier down the road barrier snaps to the ramp and then you can replace the road barrier with a sign so you can just straight up grab a sign and go attach it to the road barrier and then just remove the, the road barrier and it just gets replaced and then the reflections on the shiny concrete make it look like it's a cooler thing than it really is which I like doesn't close over the railway or is the train too close oh that's a good idea is the is the train too close that's a good call thank you maybe I'm just being dumb no power yep I was just being dumb I apologize. It is not a bug. The door is not bugged. <laughs> the train was just too close. Door. 
the door doors as advertised. Yeah. Did I mention I didn't sleep very well last night? Anyway, imagine that, but like with maybe some lights and stuff in there. That would be cool, right? Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of space for lights. Because they do come up and take a lot of space. Um, like these things are massive. Could be cool. I think the train will clip through the light, unfortunately. So the thing is, I'm not sure how far I need to drop the train. It needs to drop at least this little bit. So that could be in the way of some of our plans. So I have to be careful um, what I want to do here. If I want to drop the train in there. It's a great idea. I just may not have the room to do it. Update 8, you'll be able to use some signs to get some light. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They're actually going to emit proper light in the game, which they don't now. But anyway, that's where I need to wrap things up for the day, folks. I really appreciate everyone hanging out today. Uh, got a lot of done in uh, in Minecraft. Uh, got a fair bit done here before our frames started to stutter in the other biome. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the design, I guess, tweak of this very plain station that did not feel update 7 ready and did not feel like it was matching with the Devastator vibe and I think by changing some of the materials down here to the newer materials and adding in some of these green and orange highlights with more gray I think that's my big problem over here is that I've got too much green in my very early quick layout and we need to do more purple and more more gray uh, gray specifically because when you look at Devastator like there's a fair amount of gray it's usually all in the joints Right, so like your your highlight portions have got your green, but then your gray is kind of like your your business underneath, I guess. So if you want to follow here uh, before I send you off, um, by all means, uh, I stream every day at one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus three hours. Tomorrow is Lego Friday. So we'll be building the uh, Princess Leia Bosch helmet from the Star Wars uh, collector series. So that will be great. Uh, looking forward to doing that. It'll probably take more than one stream. We'll probably be doing it over two two weeks. Uh, last week we built a TIE Fighter. And there's lots more coming. I do return to Minecraft on... I will say Sunday. Saturday. There is no stream this Saturday. It's a holiday weekend in Canada. I'm taking the day off to go for a hike. So I will not be streaming Saturday. Just FYI. But I will be back tomorrow. Follow me on Twitter for more updates. Uh, if you're not, uh, not already in the Discord. Then you'll get, of course, Discord updates as well. As to when I'm going live. And uh, check out the podcasts, thesepunchunks.com and thesizzlecafe.com, both free, both easy to listen to, depending on what you are into. And a big thank you to Sweet Sandy and to Cosmic for moderating today. I really appreciate it. Good to see folks coming back. Good to see you, the tipster. Uh, good to see Kel Birdie and all the regulars. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great evening. I think we're going to pass you along to, is um, Total Eclipse still going? I'll find somebody to pass you along to. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll see you folks tomorrow.